Hey guys, how you doing? SBL, recording artist, Uptown Bronx. Been doing this shit a while now, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to lock in. Oh, I say, oh, I'm a go vibes, I'm fuck all my mood. I'm a gang bitch, I'm shy, God, just roll. Know they hate me, know they want me to lose. Oh, huh? I'm not a regular way. They got me into music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm from a place where everybody, music is just installed in my culture. Music is installed in my neighborhood. We just like that. I went from, like I said, my mother growing up, playing Lauryn Hill all the time, or playing the throwbacks. You just always gonna be fond of music growing up, so it's gonna be a part of how you are. Right, my creative process, um, over the years, my creative process transitioned. Um, at one point, I used to sit in the crib, preferably, and there was no studios involved, there was no, you know, like I said, Plug Studios involved. It was just me in my house, and I would go over these beats, and I would recite my lyrics over and over again until I remember them. You know what I'm saying? Just wait for opportunity. But now, you know, the creative process is way different. Now I'm in the studio with other writers, other, other producers, you know, other people like me. You know what I'm saying? So I come in, and this is why I'm respected. I come in and I just get it done. I hear the beat, I'm able to think on time because I've worked in the past to get, you know what I'm saying, to get to that level. Uh, my style of music, uh, it's, it's got a real New York twist to it. Um, I'm very R&B savvy, uh, melodic. Uh, at the same time, I do have a style where I do cater to the traditional roots of hip hop, bars, metaphors, lyrics, all of that thing. Or, you know, that still matters to me. Um, but yeah, I do everything with an old school mindset, but with a new school style, you know what I'm saying? And that's what forms SBL. Cause I, I could, I listen to Stevie Wonder, I listen to, from everybody, like I said, Lauren Hill, to the Erica Badu, whoever it is. Real music, but I take that real music style and I give it to the new school, you know what I mean? Simple. I'm not gonna perform anywhere in the world, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't really like questions like that because it's like, I would want my, my own fest, I want my own festival. Um, I don't necessarily want to go pray that I want to, for anybody's performance, no Coachella, none of that. I really would like to have my own humongous festival with my own artists that are actually talented, you know, people that are actually worth being on that stage. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm just one of those guys, like my goal in the end is to have a humongous festival in this game where like it's genuine music lovers, you know what I'm saying? None of the bullshit, none of the bots, none of the people that don't deserve to be there, you know what I'm saying? And I don't see a festival right now that's doing that, so yeah. That's a good question. I'm constantly evolving. Um, actually, it's a tough question because uh, I want to actually start leaning more into the business aspect of the music game. Um, a lot of artists tend to fail in that aspect. So you can have all of the talent in the world, but if you don't know this business, you don't know behind the scenes, like uh, my brother Trey Mello, he constantly tells me a lot. You gotta know the business behind it. This is, this is all about numbers, you know? Um, so that's definitely a big aspect I wanna learn in this. Uh, as well as being able to put other artists on. I wanna get to a point in my life where it's like, I can pull other artists up with me. Cause it's, you know, it's like that crab in the barrel mentality is really serious in the hip hop game right now. I wanna be able to pull artists up and evolve into that level where I'm like, yo, I'll put him in the studio with him. She's got talent, I don't care how many views she's got. I don't care how many followers he's got. I wanna put them together cause they make real music. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's, it has to be a genuine feeling. If it's not genuine, it won't work. The lot of these guys will tell you, oh bro, I want you part of my label. I want you to do this, but it's not a genuine feeling. I wanna generally, this is not about the money for me. I'm gonna be financially good regardless. I genuinely want us to sit in the studio. I want everybody to build, I want everybody to win. You know what I mean? These guys, oh, you signed my label, but their whole idea is, I don't wanna say no names, but whole idea is to make money off of you and you die out and they blossom. And that's not my goal because at the end of the day, I do this for the love of it. I do this generally because I love hip hop for what it is. Um, I'm gonna tell it like this, do not start unless you are 100% ready. Cause I'll tell people like this all the time. As long as the world doesn't know you do music, you're just fine. But the minute you take that opportunity to say, boom, I dropped the video. That's your ass, you know what I'm saying? Because now people are looking at you like, oh, what's next? So what I would do is behind the scenes, grind, grind, grind. Be, have your game plan where it's like you got three videos ready, four videos ready, you got an album or two ready. So it's when you go, you go. It's no, because we're in a place where there's damn near a million people in New York City that do music, you know what I'm saying? So what's gonna separate you from the rest? You know what I mean? Yeah, just, just be ready, just be ready. Don't do this just because, oh, I feel eager to get a video out. If you're not ready, don't do it. Boom. All right, so I'm just gonna play the industry because that's safe. Um, obviously, I would collab with somebody like Drake uh, for reasons we don't have to explain. You don't mess with Drake, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, somebody, ironically, I would like to collab, you know what? I wanna collab with a lot of the old school rappers. I have something to prove with that. I don't care. It's like, boom, I'll take Slick Rick right now 
I'll take Big Daddy Kane, I'll take Rakim right now. We'll, I'll make a hit with them and get them back on the radio to prove a point that it was never about them not having the style to be in the, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the times anymore. You know what I'm saying? Cause I still feel like these guys always had talent, but they, what happens is the game pushes the older rappers out. You know what I'm saying? You even gotta go that old. We could just talk LL Cool J. We could talk, you know what I'm saying? Well, Nas is pretty relevant these days. But anybody in that older era, there's nothing that changes about your musical talent. The, the, the industry just doesn't seem, you know what I'm saying, you fit because, you know, hip hop is a youthful, you know, place. But uh, yeah, that's what I would do. I, I'll switch it up and work with older artists who might have fell off, quote unquote, you know, like Nelly or somebody. Makes me different from other artists. This is a tough one. Because I want to be ignorant and just say I'm SBL and. That's what just makes me different, just me being me. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, I do generally think it's just me being me. My work ethic is a little bit different. I, when I compare myself to other artists in studios, like I said, when I walk in, it's all eyes on me because of the fact that my body is different. I, when I walk in, these people look at me, damn, he's a hit maker. If we spit a freestyle right now, I'm the number one option in that room. I made it that way, you know what I'm saying? If we come to who has the best R&B song right now, let's go 20 for 20. Whatever you want to do, whatever lane, I'm just him. And there's no disrespect to no other artists because they could get where I'm at too, but they're not because they don't have the work ethic. So that's what separates from other artists. Um, I just wanted it. I want it more. You know what I'm saying? It's not that you guys are whack or anything. It's just that you guys are not me. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's the kind of messed up answer. But yeah, it's honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's all honesty, man. That is a really good question because um, I get asked that so many times and people make up their own shit. Yeah, it's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. But SBL, to be honest, y'all, to be honest, y'all, SBL literally just is my initials. Um, my original birth name is Styles, Brand Styles Brandon Lee. Um, yeah, y'all don't gotta make up super. It just be anything. These girls, people come up with it and be like, yeah, no, I know it. You know what I mean? But yeah, so Styles Brandon Lee is my real name. So I just took the initials and went with it. Um, simple as that. Um, and I just feel like that was the best thing I do because I still remain me, you know what I'm saying? Artists, me, and regular me is still the same me at the end of the day. One person I really would like to shout out, um, my brother Radcliffe Clark. He's, um, I actually have his hat on right now. Vigilante Studios is in the building at all times, you know. Um, he's really doing his thing in the city right now. I'm proud of him, I'm extremely proud of him. Um, I mentioned, I noticed that he shouted me out, so I had to, I had to you know, I had to back it, that's what brothers do. But no, all jokes aside, yeah, his brand is, is taking off and I'm extremely proud of him for that, man. I'm extremely proud of him. Um, uh, shout out to my brother Trey Mello, he's not here, I don't know where he just went, but yeah, he, he, he's a big part of, of the team or whatever the case to be, yeah. Um, my DJ Kenny, you know what I'm saying? I keep a very small circle, my, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're gonna win, you know what I mean? We're definitely gonna win, you know what I'm saying? Um, my tape is out now, here before the fame fits right into the theme I'm feeling right now. You guys are here before the fame. You guys are here before everything, the VMAs, the awards, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? What you're looking at is SBO literally before the fame. So um, when you guys get a chance, you guys tune into that on all streaming sites. And um, SBO, out. Now I gotta go serious and shit. That's it. All right, boom. So it goes like this. Took a break from them songs because I forgot I was real. Took a break from them songs because I forgot I was ill. Took a break from the hub, but if you try me, I will. I got the juice, I give the cue, watch you push up from the still. I roll with killers and drillers, but music is what I'm into. Platinum and gold on my mind, like I was Cisco. Rather push a Honda than give back somebody rental. Soon as niggas make it, these hoes screaming they miss you. Face like Gina, body like Pam, heart cold, feel the pain like Martin, Tommy in hand. I say, Shorty talking hot, I'm guessing she ain't a fan. Well, Kim and Monique, I guess I'll park it instead. Let's take them back to 09, I'm talking biggies and pals. Call it lacking through your hands, don't give a fuck if you frail. Know some niggas held it down and there's some niggas who tell. Know some pussies with a job and know some killers and. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. <laughs> I said, come and talk to me. I really wanna meet you, girl. I really wanna know your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, come and talk to me. I really need a 